Now, it's completely dry, and it's important that you make sure that this stage is dry. If it's still wet and you try to put in the trees, what will happen is the color is going to run, and we don't want that to happen. So watch what I do now. We're going to come in and put in another layer of trees. This particular layer is going to be a little darker. So all we're doing again is simply bringing in another layer of trees, and we don't want it real dark because we're going to have another layer of trees that's going to be even darker than that. So just lighten it a little bit. Now, you'll notice that this is darker than this value here. You'll notice there are some trees here where my, where my brush is. You'll notice that they're a lighter value than this particular tree area here. So that's what you want to make sure of, is that as you come forward in the forested area, that each layer is darker. All right, so here we go. We're going to come in and put a couple of more in, like so. Again, take your tissue and just lighten them just slightly. You don't want them too dark. Very simply. And again, we'll have a couple of them that are maybe a, a little on the leaning side, like so. Have them a little darker. Now at this stage also, we can start putting in a look of some branches and so forth on these trees. Now again, you'll notice there's some layering going on here. So we'll just take and suggest a few branches coming off of these particular trees. Keep it light again. And again, it's very faint. It's, it's a misty scene with those rays coming through that forested area. So we want to make sure that you don't get too dark, too quick. So even the branches coming off now need to be a lighter value. So you use your tissue in this case and just lighten some of those. It's a matter of doing this in phases or stages. So it's very important to remember that. A few branches coming off. And then I'll show you in another stage that I've worked on how we do the darker area of the forest, and we'll go from there, okay? So you can see now how we've got this layering working. Now, this may or may not make a lot of sense at this point because we're still working through the primitive stage of this. But once I show you the next stage, it'll all make sense to you. And again, have some of the branches coming off of these trees. The beauty of nature, as I mentioned, is not in perfection. The beauty of nature is in its imperfection. So what you want to do is make sure that you have all kinds of trees going in different directions and so forth. Lots of branches on the trees like you have in, in the, the natural setting. Okay, And it's all done in layers. That's what we're doing. Now I'm going to start you on one area here that's going to get a little darker for you in this particular area here. And I'll show you how we come in and we put in some uh, of the conifer trees, the evergreens, and so forth. And uh, you'll like this idea. So let me go ahead and mix up some dark. I'm doing the same thing. I'm using my ultramarine blue deep and my hooker green deep, but in this case I'm using more pigment, more color, less water, and that will get me a darker area, another phase. So here we go. I'm just going to put in, again, some suggestion of some evergreen trees. Like so. I'm not going to do the whole thing because you'll get to see that in the next stage when I show it to you. So this is how you do it. So you've got a lighter value, a mid-tone value, and now we're going to the darker value. And I'll show you how we put in just a suggestion of some of those dark, darker uh, hardwood trees as opposed to the conifer trees. We'll do that for you as well. So this would continue on and then you'll be putting in this whole section of trees, let's say in one area, and you can see into the distance here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a couple more, or a couple of larger hardwood trees in this area, so that you can see those, and then I'll show you how we put in some leaf area to the top of these trees. Just a couple of these trees in the forested area. And then again, we'll put some leaf area to the top of the trees. I'm going to come in take the same color. I'm using all the same colors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape in and create the illusion, the illusion of a forested area here. So this is just a leafy area to the trees up at the top here and you'll start to see the forest develop in front of you. Now, one of the things you want to remember is that we're actually creating an illusion here. 
All right, and we know logically this is a two-dimensional sheet of paper, okay? Your job as a, an artist is to entertain the viewer, and you entertain in different ways. Your idea here is that you want to create the illusion that this is a three-dimensional scene as opposed to a two-dimensional sheet of paper. Don't worry about all these splatters because that's the forest. They're going to have leaves and so forth everywhere anyway. So don't worry about those little splatters going everywhere. You want to maybe try and keep them out of your, your area of your sky up here, of course. But see how that's done now? You've got the first layer of trees going in. You, you start with your underpainting first with your light value. Then you dry it, do your light value of trees, as you can see here. Then come in and do a mid-tone, a little bit darker value of trees. And then come in and do your darker value of trees. Let me go on to the next stage here. I want to show you a more finished piece than this. So let me set this aside for now. And I'm going to pull this one up. And you can see how this goes into the next stage. You can, again, you can see those light values of trees in the distance. And then you start to see some of the mid-tone trees. And then the darker trees. And then, of course, the conifer trees or the evergreen trees here. This continues on out. And then what you get is you'll get, as you can see in this particular situation here, you can actually see the finished painting where all of this was developed. This is a little bit more elaborate in that we have the uh, colorful autumn trees and so forth and color in the ground and there's even a deer here. The, uh, the name of the scene is Deer Crossing. But this particular scene was created just as I showed you in the beginning by having those sun rays come across in those stages and then you can finish it out however you want. I hope you've enjoyed this little idea. Thank you for joining me.